Hello and welcome to the next episode of Giroud's Probation and we are doing episode 3 now currently as you see on the screen he's pretty much got a French team with a Polish and Serbian player and going straight into the match there it is bish bash bosh 5 goals in everton scores a beautiful goal and as you saw last episode we have currently got 8 goals uh, in 7 games but currently we are on our 8th game now so we are going to do that and I think is this a beautiful look at that it is lovely. It was Whitehead, um, a centre mid from Stoke. Absolute beautiful play. And we are 2 0 up. I believe in this match, I actually do throw it away here. And as you see here, this this is just unbelievable. I've kind of not passed it back to my keeper since that. It was absolute stupid that Gamero scored that. Just the fact that obviously the first touch with the keepers are just stupid, obviously, because. But I don't think I don't think it should be like that. If I, I haven't really kicked it back, but uh, it's a beautiful little chip. Knocks it in. There is Shane Long. Beautiful goal. Uh, look, I, th I thought Shane Long was going to score very soon in this match. He was having attempts from everywhere. So it was only fair that he actually did score. And another goal here. Quite easy. But uh, very lucky on the rebound uh, to uh, whoever, how, however you pronounce that guy's name. But uh, lovely finesse. Unfortunately hit the post. But uh, he got the cheeky little rebound going on. And then here... Really, no defender on him, and that was that looked a sick goal. The fact that he went near post rather than far post. Uh, Gamero, a very good striker. I had him at the very start of FIFA. Um, I got him one of my packs, so I've been using him a bit um, when I first started. So he's a very good player. I know what he's capable of. And as you see there, good old Giroud getting his ninth goal in there. We are only 41 goals away. It's a bit of a trek, but we are on eight games now. So hopefully, uh, the series won't last too long. But um, we are planning on doing like other series as well after this one that are quite like quicker maybe um, maybe like who can score the most goals in 10 games and like have like a versus kind of thing um, and there's another goal by whoever that is but uh, maybe like a kind of like one like that or um, the, a, a keeper kind of challenge like who can uh, keep out the most goals in 10 matches and uh, obviously we can like have some point kind of system in here. We've got, I don't really know what kind of call this, I think it might be an MLS, it looks, that's how I'm thinking now, just looking at the uh, name and looking at the players, but um, it's a, it was quite a good team, he's got Keane, Beckham, Donovan in there, I really don't know any of the other people, and there's a beautiful goal by uh, Shamak, that was absolutely sexy, beautiful chest, and then he volleys it past that keeper like it's nothing, it, that, that was a good goal, I have to admit. As you see here, lovely ball over, chests it away from the defender and then volleys that straight into the uh, net. Beautiful. As you see here again, played it back to him by accident. Runs past all my players, shouldn't have been allow allowed to do that. And obviously gets his goal for it. As it does, he tries to do a sprinkler behind my player. But my player's not having none of it. He is stealing the limelight of him. But here again, defending was so poor. He just runs through and he just strikes. And what can I say? And here he gets the sprinkler uh, quite correct as the guy in in the front getting that a bit late but anyway moving on what was that ref that was just unbelievable and we got a penalty thank god and none other than Giroud is going to take it and bum 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 he converts it beautiful Giroud he is literally my penalty taker if he is on the pitch uh, just to get the goals going because I need more goals and the quicker I get it the better uh, that is the whole point. And Giroud has not missed a pen penalty yet for me. And that was a beautiful goal by uh, DeVeo. He's got his hat-trick for him now. But uh, Giroud has not missed a penalty, which I'm quite happy to say. So it is all good for him. Hopefully you are enjoying these uh, Giroud episodes as well. I find them quite good. And it seems like uh, on the first episode, it got a couple of likes. Uh, it did get a dislike straight away. Uh, well, not straight away, but it got that was the first thing uh, that someone did. But... Um, I thought two likes, that would do me, and unfortunately there, that was a great header by uh, Tirift or something like that. But uh, I thought, it's a good series, i got to admit, I've put effort into this series, so I thought, I'm going to continue it, and uh, it is going to be, hopefully, a decent series. And again, beautiful touch by, I think that was by Shamakia, yeah? um, hits the keeper, it comes back off of me, touches it, if you watch his touch, I believe we've got it, oh no we haven't, and there's just a cheeky little pass around the keeper by uh, Dijaga. Um, he's uh, the Aston Villa right wing, I believe, or right mid. I, I did that just because I was getting annoyed and I wanted to try and bring it back. So, uh, a virtualize if you uh, didn't like that. And here we have a Prem team with Friedel, Gibbs, Dunn, O'Shea, Johnson, and the 
uh, Spanish geezer, uh, um, Mikel uh, Cano, uh, Cano or something like that, I think it is. Some good players in there. Shamak getting the first goal in 17 minutes, though. He's quite a good player. We are on 11 games currently, as you can tell. And here, Cano knocks it. It's a keeper. And then uh, t Tarab, uh, Trapped. I, I can't pronounce his name. Um, he uh, takes the uh, good old advantage of the keeper being on the floor. And again, just outpaced by loads. Pass on to my keeper. I was getting frustrated by now. Uh, it, it's just really annoying when you've got players like that. But uh, it seems that everyone passes around the keeper in that game. I've not seen one person yet. I actually haven't seen one person that hasn't passed around the keeper. But I say if I can pass around the keeper, so can uh, he. And if he can pass around the keeper, so can I. And that's a beautiful goal by Giroud. Getting 11 goals there. Beautiful style by Giroud. Now, I was just I was getting that annoyed. I just let this goal play. Um, I thought it was quite a good goal as well. Lovely uh, inside, inside the net. It just... It weren't looking for that. It was going for the uh, outer post rather than the inner, which was pretty sick. Keeper did make a save. As you see, a close-up version. Lovely strike. Keeper makes a save, and he just couldn't push it in. But we are coming to the end of this episode. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it, and join us back on Thursday, I believe. Or, yeah, I think it... No, Friday. Friday? I think it might be Friday. For the next episode of Giroud's episode, uh, Giroud's probation, in fact. And it will be episode four. So this will be in a playlist. So hopefully you've checked out the other two videos before this. And make sure to check back for the next episode. So here's a beautiful little chest and volley. And then straight to uh, Fletcher to equalise us in the uh, 88th minute, I believe. Bye-bye.